Instead of being a nuisance and a polluter of the atmosphere at harvest time, straw is becoming a useful cash crop. It's already being processed for stock feed, it's being converted to building materials, and the paper industry is developing ways of using it as a raw material which could save £10 million a year in foreign currency. In the Stramit factory in Suffolk, wheat straw is being compressed into a building material by coating it with an adhesive and encasing it in a strong paper liner. The factory has a potential requirement of 50,000 tonnes a year of clean, dry, bright wheat straw in conventional bales, but it still can't get enough raw material of the right quality. The finished product has extremely good fire-resisting and insulating properties which is used for many purposes in the construction industry. Used for centuries as thatch, straw can be used as a roofing material in this modern form, even though it has come through the combine. Putting straw back into the ground is better than burning it if it isn't going to be harvested, which is a job for this McConnell Gimac flail. Both hay and straw are bulky crops to handle and modern machinery can turn it into bales quickly and very efficiently. This way of harvesting hay and straw means that no extra labour is needed on the farm and the crop is brought in without being touched from field to barn. A bale packer doesn't make your baler obsolete. It makes and ties bales in easily handled packs so you have still got the convenience and compactness of man-sized bales which your stockman will thank you for and if you sell your surplus, your customer or your merchant will pay you well for. As soon as a bale is fed into the machine, it is slewed through 90 degrees, lifted inside two lines of heavy-duty polypropylene twine and held up by catches. When four bales are gathered, they are pushed back into the two loops of twine and the next four bales are assembled. When five rows of four bales are assembled, Knots are tied and the pack is free to slide onto the ground. The machine responds as soon as a bale enters it. It will accept bales up to a rate of one every five seconds. Bales will continue to feed in during a 90 degree turn. A ramp allows the pack to be deposited gently on the ground while the outfit is on the move. The whole operation is automatic. The bale packer counts the bales. There are no direct controls for the machine in the tractor cab. The only connections are two oil pipes which are plugged into the tractor's hydraulic system. A good strong straw crop will produce about 80 bales an acre, which means that there are only four packs to be lifted off each acre of stubble. As soon as bales are in packs, they can be moved. So harvesting can start first thing in the morning by shifting the previous day's packs while the dew evaporates. And the packs can be moved in the evenings after the dew has settled, so a field can be cleared, ready for autumn cultivations, the following day.
Because bales are going to be moved off the field, not by men but by machine, bale packer owners make their bales heavier than normal ones. like these can have twice as much bulk as big round or big square bales, which means that there is half as much material to be moved and a tightly made pack of dense square bales is much easier to put into store and take out again. It keeps its shape and makes the most of every inch of storage space. A field stack like this is just one way of storing packs. Bell packer owners soon develop their own ways of handling. On this farm, Packs are stored in old buildings close to the harvest field. Then they are moved during the winter to the stockyards. Bulk handling frequently means that special buildings are required, but many farms have sound traditional barns and cattle yards which will be difficult to adapt and it would be extravagant to replace them. For them, the conventional bale but handled in bulk is the only satisfactory way of strawing yards or feeding stock. If you ask bale packer owners why they have them, you will be given many different reasons. A Northamptonshire owner who finishes 250 calves a year, said that if you take straw into yards in a big bale by tractor, the bullocks get excited and you take a lot of muck out onto the concrete. A Scottish pig farmer bought his bale packer because it would pay for itself in labour costs alone in two seasons. He has reduced weekly strawing from a whole day's job for two men to a one hour, one man job. A Somerset dairy farmer largely paid for his machine in the first season by baling and packing his neighbour's surplus barley straw. It's the practicability of the job that he likes. A bale packer provides you with all the advantages of bulk crop handling and all the advantages of man-sized bales. It makes dense square packs without any assistance from the tractor driver which are easy to handle, easy to store and safe to move long distances by road transport. When the strings are cut, you still have a package which anyone can handle. An owner in Oxfordshire who bales all the straw from 1,000 acres of cereals summed it up quite simply. He said, it has cut out manhandling and removed all weather risks too. It's a brilliant machine.